Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Acting Premier. Acting Premier, since you've been in power, the Auditor General has released special reports investigating Orange Air Ambulance, the Mississauga Gas Plant, and the Oak Willow Gas Plant. In all three of these cases, the flow of public funds to indirect recipients and third-party service providers was outside the current mandate of the Provincial Auditor. Acting Premier, do you agree that the Auditor General should be given the tools to do their job and ensure that taxpayers are getting fair value for their money? Fair, fair. Deputy Premier. Minister of Government Services. Minister of Government thank Services. You, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I know that the Honourable Member has a, uh, a private member's bill, which is uh, before uh, the Legislature this afternoon, and I think all of us look forward to uh, the debate and the discussion. I think all of us recognize the important role that's played by uh, the Auditor General. Uh, we also anticipate a very important role by the Financial Accountability Officer. At the same time, Mr. Speaker, we do have to uh, uh, balance that with the appropriate of uh, going too far when it comes to those who are merely dealing with the government and not part of the government. That is the balance, I think, that will be the topic of debate this afternoon. And I can certainly say on our side of the legislature, Mr. Speaker, we're looking forward to hearing the debate and the presentation from the member as well as participating in it. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, again to the Acting Premier. A number of audits are currently in progress, including a review of the community care access centres, smart meter usage, and the Winter Roads Maintenance Program. These investigations all involve public money flowing to third-party organizations. Acting Premier, my private member's bill will allow the Auditor General to follow the money to third-party recipients to help complete these audits and make sure taxpayers are getting good value for their money. Acting Premier, will you support Bill 190 when it is debated for second reading this afternoon and give the Auditor General the tools to do their job? Here, here. Minister of Government Services. Minister of Finance, Mr. Speaker. Minister of Finance. So, Mr. Speaker, it's, uh, it's important that we all recognize the need for greater transparency and greater accountability. It is one of the reasons that we in this House, on this side of the House, have taken numerous steps to, to do so. In fact, CDI Institute has recognized that the Government of Ontario has become one of the most transparent, one of the most accountable governments anywhere in Canada. We've been rated top in the country because of the integrity of our numbers. We recognize the important work that the Auditor General does. It's one of the reasons we brought forward the Financial Accountability Officer to ensure that we get not only an Auditor General looking at the past results, but also making certain that going forward, we institute proper systems to ensure that integrity continues. And we're doing that in Treasury Board. We're doing Thanks, that with sir. our sub Treasury Board Committee will continue to act responsibly yeah. for the benefit of the public good and taxpayers' value will be protected. Thank you.